Hello, my name is Dr. John Malcolm. Today I'll be performing a minimally invasive robotic surgery, and I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the robotic surgery program offered at Urology of Virginia. So Urology of Virginia has been offering robotic surgery to our patients for over two decades now. We utilize the DaVinci robotic platform that you see behind me. This platform consists of the bedside robot with four arms that control a camera and various surgical instruments, as well as the surgeon console just a few feet away, where the surgeon employs magnified vision and fine instrument control to perform operations with excellent precision. The benefits to our patients include small incisions with reduced post-operative pain, reduced bleeding, short hospital stays, which are usually just one night or even same day discharge, and overall faster recovery from surgery. We have developed post-operative care pathways known as ERAS, which stands for Enhanced Recovery After Surgery. These pathways allow us to fully realize the benefits of robotic surgery and reduce narcotic usage after operations. Our ERAS pathway is described in a subsequent video. So the most common robotic surgeries performed by Urology of Virginia surgeons include cancer surgeries, usually for treatment of prostate cancer, kidney cancer, ureter cancer, and bladder cancer. We also do reconstructive surgeries for treatment of kidney blockages, bladder prolapse, fistula repairs. We do kidney removal for transplantation, and also adrenal surgeries for treatment of hormonal disturbances related to adrenal tumors. Robotic surgeries share a common set of beginning steps to initiate the operations, uh, which I will demonstrate in this video. After arriving to the operating room, patients are provided with general anesthesia, and they're then positioned and safely secured with padding and soft straps. Skin is prepped with antibacterial solution and sterile drapes are applied. Using a small needle, the abdominal cavity is filled with carbon dioxide gas to create space. And then robotic trocars are inserted using a small camera for guidance. The Da Vinci robot is then connected. At this point, a surgical assistant remains at the bedside while the urologic surgeon moves to the nearby console to perform the main portion of the surgery. At the conclusion of the surgery, the robotic instruments are removed and the small incisions are closed with absorbable sutures and then covered with a protective ointment. In a series of subsequent videos, I will introduce the main features of each of the most common robotic operations that we perform at Urology of Virginia. Video links can be found on our YouTube channel or at our website, urologyofvirginia.net. Please refer to these videos for important details regarding your particular surgical needs. It's been a pleasure to offer you this introduction to robotic surgery at Urology of Virginia. And we are honored to partner with you in optimizing your urologic health. Thank you. Thank you.